Welcome to Financial Minds Meet the Experts. I'm Jamie Agostino, your host. On this show, we're joined by financial industry experts to talk about topics, trends, and themes that credit union professionals need to know about. Today on Financial Minds Meet the Experts, we are talking with Sue Ward Diorio, Foundation Executive Director of the Cross State Credit Union Foundation. Sue, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you taking the time. Thank you, Jamie. I'm very excited to be here. <laughs> All right. Well, before we get started, would you mind telling our listeners just a little bit about yourself? Yeah, I actually have been with um, the Cross State Foundation for the past six months, and I've been in the nonprofit community for, I'm sad to say, over 40, not sad, but oh my goodness, 40 years. Um, I'm very excited to be with um, the Credit Union Foundation um, we serve Pennsylvania and New Jersey credit unions. All right. Um, so what are the goals and the objectives for the Cross State Credit Union Foundation? So the the uh, I think I'll start with the mission of the foundation. Um, you know, the Cross State Credit Union Foundation changes people's lives through promoting financial education, professional development, disaster relief, and credit union relevance. And really, there's three main buckets, three objectives that we have at the foundation. And one is to provide grants to our cross-state credit union network. Um, that's with financial literacy initiatives, small credit union assistance, disaster relief, and professional development as well. Um, and then we have programs that we offer that really help um, financial education and leadership development. So we um, we run an enhanced FISEP program, which is the financial financial counseling uh, cert certification program. We uh, oversee all the financial reality fairs, which is um, really exciting right now because they're all starting to be able to get into schools and work with students about financial education. So it's really fun. Um, and then we uh, we have a leadership awards program that really highlights innovation in financial literacy. And we do that annually at our convention. And then the last program that we have is called um, our executive leadership program. And it's really this intense six year program where um, people submit applications and we pick two young leaders every year to be a part of this executive leadership program. And it's it's quite a commitment to say you're going to do these trainings for six years. And it's a commitment of the credit union as well. But um, I was actually just um, talking to the uh, folks that went through to finish the program this year, and uh, they just can't say enough about how much they learned through these different uh, training programs. And it's a really exciting um, program that we have. Wow. Wow. Um, so how does then the foundation assist the credit unions and their members? So um, with, I guess, so I'll start with like, so small credit unions, um, we provide assistance to them through grants and also through training. So uh, their staff need training. Uh, we have grants for that but also um, through just uh, a lot of the grants that we give out for small credit unions are technology grants uh, as ways to re reach their members. You know, technology is changing constantly and to really keep up with what's there and how to reach their members the best and that's changing as well. Um, that's how we really support our small credit unions. Um, and then I think through our financial education programs, our grants and our awards, we really want people um, to be creative and strategic and uh, take some risks in their financial education. And we really want to support that. Um, we know what a difference it makes for their members. And um, so we want to be able to provide grants and things like that. All right. Well, I'm sure all of that requires some funding. So how does the foundation raise funds for all of these grants and financial literacy programs and professional development? Yeah, so we raise um, funds the different, a few different ways. Um, we mainly raise month, 
a funds through our annual campaign. We ask our credit unions, our chapters, the companies we work with, individuals to make an annual gift to the foundation. Um, and then we also have some events. Uh, we have uh, events at our um, larger conferences. So we have a fall leadership conference and we have a, it's called Viva Las Vegas. And uh, it's just a fun night of gaming and getting together and supporting the foundation. We do that in the fall. And then at our convention, we have a luncheon um, where we give out the awards for our financial literacy awards. And uh, we raise money around that time. We have basket raffles and, um, you know, people look forward to those every year. Uh, we just finished our end of the year um, fundraiser. It was called Wallapalooza. And um, I don't know if you heard of it, but you yes. like buy tickets and you put it in this bucket and then we have a drawing and um, two people are picked and then whoever gets picked, they uh, get a thousand dollars worth of credit cards and this beautiful wallet. Uh, so we just did that last week and it was very fun to like call people and say they won. <laughs> so... Yes. No, I'm very familiar with some of those have been to the foundation <laughs> luncheon as well. So, yeah. um, so what activities and events um, is the foundation planning in 2023? Um, will we be doing some of the same events again? Yes. So um, we're really excited for 23. Um, so I can talk a little bit about some of the things that we're going to do. Uh, what the one thing that, that I'm really looking forward to is that luncheon. We really want it to make it a celebration of all the great work that credit unions and our network are doing. There's just great programs out there. And we just want to thank all our credit unions for the great um, financial education that they do. And then we'll offer up the awards to some of the really innovative programs. But we really are hoping that just a really great celebration and um, fun luncheon this year. Um, we're also, uh, because the reality fairs are starting to kick up and going into schools and all of that, um, I'm going to be sort of like analyzing where all these fairs are and making sure that we're reaching students in all the different areas of Pennsylvania and New Jersey. And if there's a, sort of pockets where we're not, we're really going to try to see how we can do that. Um, you know, I, our goal is to reach as many kids as possible. And so we're really going to uh, take a look at that. Um, and then I was just having a conversation with the Department of Banking and the Department of Corrections in Pennsylvania. And a few years back, we had financial reality fairs for folks who were just going back into the community after being incarcerated. And it was a great program and the folks that participated, it really made a big difference in their lives. And so we're really hoping to create something annually to be able to work with those folks. So we're in the process of doing that planning and we're hoping that we can do it in New Jersey as well. So um, that's very exciting. Um, and then honestly, we're having a strategic planning this year. And so... I think it's going to be a great process to see what we've done, but also to really think deeply about how we best can help the credit unions and our communities and um, really see where the needs are and, and what's really the best thing for the foundation to be. I, I think what we do is fantastic, and um, but there's always room for new ideas and and to to evaluate. So that's going to be really important for us moving forward in the next couple of years. All right. You know, how else um, can credit unions support the foundation? So, of course, uh, a, a financial gift is always helpful. Um, you know, we want as many credit unions to um, support the foundation and it doesn't matter what size. I think you know, to be able to say that every credit union in the network is supporting the foundation would be such a wonderful, uh, wonderful thing to say. It's sort of my vision for where we can go. Um, but also the programs that we have. I hope people participate in the programs and and think of your fellow credit union 
um, friends and, you know, colleagues and such to, you know, if they see something that we do and, oh, so-and-so, that might be a really good program for them, that they really take advantage of that, um, you know, and take advantage of our pro, um, our grants program. Uh, I also think if there's, um, credit unions do a lot of fundraising themselves, and if they want to, you know, give a percentage of that fundraising effort to the foundation, you know, something like that would be wonderful. And any other creative ideas, I really want to, you know, work with our credit union network and um, think of things that we can do together and really just move this mission forward as a, as a big team. So I'm open for ideas. All right. Any uh, final thoughts for our viewers regarding the Cross State Credit Union Foundation? Yeah, I um I love the work of the foundation. Um, you know, I tell people this all the time, but I have a, a a son who graduated college and had to create a budget and all the things that go along with that. Um, and it's not like the most exciting thing, you know, like it's not, I don't know, finances, you know, but it's so critical. And absolutely it makes such a difference in someone's lives. Um, and the information that they learn is so critical. And I think we see it. I have like a few kids in my mind that I can't seem to let go of that I've met at uh, reality fairs. And, you know, one boy had a career that he really wanted to pursue, but he didn't come out. His budget didn't work out. And I was like, well, you know, maybe you need that like used car versus a new car. And things like that. And he was able to figure it out. And you could see the light bulb go off in his head. You could see the hope that was in his eyes that, oh, this is going to work. This is what I want to do. And this is, I'm going to be able to do it. And, you know, we see that with these kids. We see the hope that they have after going through this process. And honestly, I feel hopeful for the future and our communities. And, um, it's really, it's really exciting work and credit unions should all feel really just proud of what they do. Um, you know, seeing hope for the future for these kids and the hope that they give makes a huge difference. And, um, it's, it really changes people's lives. Yeah. It, it really does. I, I've been blessed um, to be able to attend some of the reality fairs myself. And it is something that I enjoy. And I, and I like watching, you know, the kids kind of go from from uh, table to table and, you know, to have to cross something off because they need to save yeah. a little bit more money so they can't get that, as you said, new car they have to go used or, you know, maybe uh, change, get a roommate. You know, it's just it's right. fun to kind of see them go through that. So, yeah, yeah. Well, Sue, thank you so much. I really appreciate you taking the time to be here with me today and, and just talk about, you know, some of the things that the foundation's doing and learn learn a little bit more. Well, thank uh, you so much. It's been it's been a pleasure. Great. All right. Did you miss a Vizzo Financial webinar? That's okay. They've got you covered. They realize that sometimes schedules don't always allow you to attend every event that you wish. So as a service to the members of Vizzo Financial, they provide archived recordings and presentation material for educational webinars in the past year. You can access them by going to the website www.vfccu.org and selecting webinar recordings from the education tab. As always, thanks for listening and have a great day.